After a lot of waiting, Universal Orlando has finally announced all of its information for Halloween Horror Nights 2022. That's 10 houses, five scare zones, two incredible shows, lots of food, drinks, fun. Let's get into it. Halloween Horror Nights 2022 runs September 2nd through October 31st this year. So over the next couple of weeks, I'm going to be posting even more videos, breaking down tickets, dates, RIP tours, express passes, stay and scream information, and more. And we will be at HHN on opening weekend, September 2nd, 3rd, and 4th to show you everything Halloween Horror Nights 2022. So be sure you're subscribed with bell notifications on so you don't miss when those videos drop. But in case you missed the first four houses that were announced, let me back up and go over those with you really quickly. The first house we have is The Weekend After Hours Nightmare. It's music to your fears. You love his music, but can you survive his mind? The weekend is about to stalk your squad through this haunted house, a surreal living nightmare from his after hours videos. His nightmare is now yours. I know there's kind of been some back and forth about this weekend house, but personally, I'm very excited. Every year they have at least one house that's more kind of thriller, just kind of like a fun house, a fun house to walk through, like Clownzilla. Last year at HHN 30, they had the Beetlejuice house. Again, yes, you have scares in that house, but you also have just kind of like this fun atmosphere because it's Beetlejuice. So personally, I am very looking forward to this house. I also love The Weeknd's music. I think it would be a lot of fun to go through a house with like chart topping hits to dance through while you're getting scared. I don't know, probably doesn't make sense, but I'm excited for this house. Next up we have Halloween. His beginning is your end. Silent, merciless, relentless. There is nobody like Michael Myers, and if your Scream Squad is ready this year, you can gather together and face the terror of Halloween from the very beginning. Again, Michael Myers is a classic. It's Halloween through the decades. I think this is gonna be a really good house. I think especially if you've seen the movies, Mike Myers jumping out at you is gonna be pretty scary, and I'm excited for it. The third house we had announced was The Horrors of Blumhouse. Twice the screams, twice the terror. Get ready for a blood-curdling new double feature of Blumhouse Horror as your Scream Squad faces the ruthless serial killer in Freaky and an evil kidnapper in the relentlessly terrifying The Black Phone. I'm gonna be honest with you, Jeff and I haven't watched either of these Blumhouse features because if you didn't know it, we don't watch horror movies. I know that's weird, and if you watched the very first video I ever put up on this channel, you'll know we didn't expect to like HHN. We don't watch horror movies. We don't go to haunted houses. We ended up going on a whim. We've been addicted ever since. I'm gonna make another video about why HHN might be for you if you're not a big like haunted house horror movie fan. So definitely watch out for that one because HHN or Halloween or Horror Nights might not be your thing, but it could be. The fourth house we had announced was Universal Monsters Legends Collide. It's the Wolfman versus Dracula versus the Mummy. If you thought one Universal Monster was scary, how about three? Summon your Scream Squad, cause you're about to get caught between the Wolfman, Dracula, and the Mummy together for the first time. Every year at Halloween Horror Nights, Universal will have some big intellectual property names. Blumhouse, Stranger Things, Killer Clowns from Outer Space, and then they have what we call their original houses. Don't sleep on these houses. When we first went, I thought, oh, I don't think I'm gonna like any of these kind of houses that they made up storylines for, but every single year, the most favorite houses are the original houses. And that's what we got today with Universal's release. We have six original houses I could not be more excited for, especially for this first one, the Spirits of the Coven. They're bewitchingly terrifying. A coven of beautiful flapper witches will lure you into the 1920 speakeasy, reveal their haggish true form, and turn your scream squad into a witch's brew. They'll be cackling, you'll be screaming. Personally, I think I'm most excited about this original house. I love like the witches theme. Uh, you had American Horror Story coven. That one was one of my most favorite seasons. I actually did watch that, but I watched it like this. Ugh, ugh. Kathy Bates' character in that one was something. <laughs> what was her name? If you remember Kathy Bates' character that season of 
American Horror Story coven, let me know. It was Madam something. Ooh, she was not a nice lady, but I am excited for that house. Next up, we have bugs eaten alive. These bugs are out to exterminate you. While touring a 1950s home in the future, you'll be surrounded by the slime of bugs everywhere as hordes of many-legged terrors descend upon you and your scream squad. You'll be dropping like flies. I am not excited for this house. I do not want to go through this house and I may only go through it once. We'll see. I'm from Texas, so the next house seems sort of familiar from our legends that we have here. It's Fiesta de Chupacabras. Listen to your abuela and beware the chupacabras. Visit a Latin American village where the legend of the creature chupacabra is celebrated with a colorful fiesta. And the streets are lined with the crimson blood of tourists like you and your amigos. Next, we have a prison scene, Hellblock Horror. As these monsters escape their prison, there's no escape for you. Enter a prison whose savage inmates are monstrous creatures. If they break free from their cells, it's a death sentence for everyone. I don't know about this one. We'll have to see. I know someone mentioned that they kind of wish that the inmates in this one would have been humans instead of monsters, but maybe the monsters would be a cool aspect. I don't know. We'll get back with you when we do our full 10 house review. The next one is another one that I'm excited for because I love it when they have kind of a winter's theme like the Yeti they did. Dead Man's Pier Winter's Wake. You're dead in the water. In a New England fishing village, undead fishermen emerge from the waves to seek their revenge. You and your scream squad may have escaped their hooks in the scare zone. Now, they'll reel you in and drag you under. They make everything all wintry in there and they turn the AC down, so it feels like you've entered this like arctic, scary horror scene. I don't know, I really love it. And it's a really nice break from the heat that's going on outside. The last house we have is Descendants of Destruction. Deeper, darker, deadlier. Careful not to leave any of your scream squad behind as you descend in the subway tunnels of a deserted New York City. Lurking in the dark are hungry mutants looking to feast on the last remnants of humanity. This one I think would be really fun. I love subways and I'm not going to say I haven't seen some hungry mutants down there before. So I'm really excited about this one and I'm excited to see the creativity. Even if you're watching this in the future, if you're planning to go to HHN, don't sleep on these original houses. The creativity of the team that works there, it just kind of blows and boggles my mind. When we first started going, the original houses was not something I was looking forward to. Of course, I wanted to go see Stranger Things and then we ended up going, I think through one call Graveyard games if you went to graveyard games put down in the comments below I absolutely loved that house I ended up running out of the end of that house it was so good it was so good but so scary mm. okay so that's all 10 houses and I'm very excited to know which one you are most excited for or maybe which one you're not so excited for like the bugs house put down in the comments below I want to know your thoughts on this year's Halloween Horror Nights house setup. Okay, now let's get into the scare zone. The first scare zone is a play off of one of the biggest houses of last year, the Wicked Growth, Realm of the Pumpkin. Horrors of Halloween, the Pumpkin Lord, the Spirit of Halloween has taken over this year's event. Summoning hordes of fiendish creatures, terror has taken root. If you look at the predicted scare map, we're thinking that this one's going to be kind of the big one right there in the entrance of Universal Orlando. Next scare zone is Scarecrow, Cursed Soil. At an abandoned farm, scarecrows have risen from the crust of the earth to hunt you and seek revenge. They'll harvest your screams. I think this scare zone might be one of my favorites. The scare zone that they put around the Central Park area of the park is always my favorite because you have all those trees and it just kind of feels like you're engulfed and surrounded by all these lights in the trees and the scare actors are great and they can jump out from more places. I don't know, I just really love every year what they put in this scare zone and I don't think that this year is going to be any different. Next up, what we're suspecting will be in the New York section of the park, we have Sweet Revenge. The sweets from Major Sweets Candy Company have turned children into crazed killers. This Halloween's all trick, no treats, and total mayhem. In the Hollywood section of the park, maybe going back to graveyard games, I hope, we have Graveyard Deadly Unrest. 
On All Hallows' Eve, a dark storm descends upon the cemetery and awakens long dead spirits. No one living can escape them. I hope it's kind of right up there with the Graveyard Games Haunted House. As far as the idea and the atmosphere, we will let you know. Again, we are gonna be there opening weekend. I am gonna do a review of all 10 houses. We're doing an RIP tour. We're gonna to be there for opening ceremonies. So make sure that you're subscribed so that you don't miss when those videos land. Can you see how excited I am? Like I'm pumped. The last scare zone we have is Conjure the Dark. On the first All Hallows Eve, an evil sorceress called forth monstrosities from dark dimensions. Now your blood will fuel them. This is the one that I think is gonna be back in San Francisco area, which is good because I think that the Witch's Haunted House is gonna be back there as well. But yeah, definitely excited again. Love the witches theme. We're going back to kind of traditional Halloween ideas and I really love that. So with your ticket on top of 10 haunted houses, on top of five scare zones, you also get two included shows. One show is gonna be back in the Fear Factor stage or the old Fear Factor stage. This was a play on last year's Nightmare Fuel. It's called Halloween Nightmare Fuel Wildfire. The show that sparked a firestorm last year is ablaze with a new nightmare. The pyro and aerial performers are back to reignite your fears. But we went to it for the first time last year and were amazed. It's kind of like acrobatics, like think Cirque du Soleil, sort of. Just how do they do that with their bodies? and you've got fire and I don't even know how to explain it. It's just totally cool and definitely don't miss one of these showings if you get to go this year. The other live show that they have is The Water Show and this year it's called Ghoulish, A Halloween Tale. On Halloween night, a ghost story becomes reality as you go beyond the grave in a spectacularly spooky show on Universal Studios Lagoon. These are always a lot of fun too. It's where they do the big water show and then they project lights onto it. And so you get to kind of watch a movie sort of that they've spliced together, but it usually has to do with the haunted house themes and stuff they've got going on that year. They even have a lot of fireworks as well. So it's a really good time. Just another thing you get for the price of your ticket. HHN 2022 will run from September 2nd through October 31st, 2022. Over the next couple of weeks, I'm gonna be putting out as many videos as I can to really help you break down what to expect at HHN, ticket prices, express passes, should you go to an RIP tour, should you do an Unmasking the Horrors tour, and then like I said we're going to be at HHN opening weekend September 2nd, 3rd, and 4th. I'm going to put out those videos as soon as I can breaking down opening weekend showing you every scare zone as much of the haunted houses as I can and I'm going to give you a first reaction and ranking of all the haunted houses. You don't want to miss it. Please hit that like button and subscribe and I will see you in the next one. That's too much. Yeah. Well, bye. <laughs>